The Blue Ridge Parkway in the Carolinas is absolutely gorgeous in autumn. That's when the small town of Banner Elk becomes home to the world famous Woolly Worm Festival, attracting kids and adults of all ages. For 35 years, visitors have enjoyed crafts, good food, rides, and live entertainment in this highland area. But the headliner of this festival is the cuddly crawly Woolly Worm. They even have woolly worm races for cash prizes. We're here at the 35th annual Woolly Worm Festival in Banner Elk, and oh my gosh, there are a lot of people here having wonderful fun. Congratulations. Now, Mary Jo, what does the chairman do for the woolly worm? Do you catch the worms? Do you tame them? What do you do? I, I do not catch them, I do no. not tame them, but I do no. pay a dollar a piece bounty for people who do find them and bring them to us. <laughs> Folks, are you hearing this? There's big money in woolly worm honey. Great, great. This is our banner of PTA. PTA. Oh, this is the, the this these is are the worm people. PTA. They've got the worms here. Okay, great. And they sell worms. All right, look at here. We got, got, some, got some help here. Okay. Look at that, everybody. Where do people find woolly worms? In their yards, in low-lying areas, wet low areas, right, right. and then they come out in the morning and get a little sun, get a tan, and right. we pick them up and bring them in. And, for bring, our and bring them in. I wonder if they'll be threatened by the size of this one. Look at that. <laughs> I've been told that woolly worms are not harmed, they're not cooked, they're not done, any of that no, stuff. No, we ask people to return them to return uh, the... nature because yeah. in the spring they turn into a moth. A moth. So that's what happens. A woolly worm, because people ask me, and they said, do they turn into butterflies? I said, no, no, they're not butterflies, but they're moths. Professor Joe Walsh from Lee's McRae, and he's the, he's documenting the uh, the economic impact and the satisfaction rating for people who come to the Woolly Worm Festival. What we do is we compile percentages of people who you know 97 percent of people are satisfied. You know, rating. so you got big numbers of happiness. Oh yeah. yeah. We're gonna go see Woolly Worms race now. If you've never seen this, oh my gosh, hold on. Come on, Professor. Do you know if the woolly worms are happy? I mean, are you able to figure that part out? Oh my gosh, there they are. They're, 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 are, are these are the races, right? Wow, wow. We, we got to go up there and see. Good afternoon, Banner Elk. Are we enjoying this beautiful day? Yeah. Start them at the green, but not. A, uh oh, we got some worms down. Start them at the green, but not above. Judges? On your mark, get set, go! Snow Bear is down, but he's back up now. 13, 7. He's back to, whoa, here comes Frisky in lane 12. Frisky's doing great in lane 12. Down here in lane 20. 22, Jim. Jim is on the side of the screen and doing great. Here comes in lane 10, Paul Gaming. Who gave me the worm? We've got a guy. Jeez, in the worm with the leaf. Will in lane seven. Down here we get. Boogie in lane two is doing great. It's Boogie in two. Will in seven. Love in eight. Christy in twelve. Here comes Rachel. Down here. Restless legs is doing great. Boy, that was quick. It looks like Will the worm in lane seven took first place. First place, right? Yep. Okay, buddy, guess what? You won this first place ribbon. You won some cash. And we can only predict the weather with the worm that wins the main race on Saturday. You're a big fan of the woolly worm? I've never seen one before. You've never seen a woolly worm? First encounter. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Where it wishes his head. <laughs> does it show how cold winter's going to be? Yes, ma'am, it does. By the black or oh, by yeah. the thickness what? There are 13 different parts of that woolly okay. worm. And this black part's going to say it's going to be cold. Okay. And the brown part says that it's not going to be as cold. And then at the end, it's going to be cold. Have I learned a lot about woolly worms or what? This is great. I'm a woolly worm teacher now. <laughs> 
Nan, we've heard so much about you. Mary Jo has been raving. She says that you, you and your family come together year round. You put all these great things together. Come out and sell them during Woolly Worm Festival. This is our 25th year to uh -huh. be part of the Woolly Worm Festival. We make stuffed animal dolls. We make pins and magnets, shirts that with the racing worms on them. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So it's 3D, like they're live worms. Right. It looks 3D to me. Okay. Yes. yes. And we do this to raise money for Christmas gifts for our children, primarily. Well, it's a fantastic. Thing. This is something everybody could do, don't you think? I mean, if families come together. And the caterpillar turns into an Isabella tiger moth. So when you open it up, it becomes the moth. This is my educational toy. So Mary Jo, you're telling me about a jeweler, the Turtle Man. The Turtle Man. He makes wonderful jewelry. I uh -huh. have a couple pieces that he has made. They're just beautiful pieces of jewelry. Wrapping around the stem, going up towards the top here, and I'm just going to do it like a wind-up toy. Oh, look at that. And what do you do to help your grandpa? Uh, cut the wire. So, so every every jeweler needs a wire cutter, and Paxton is the wire cutter for the Turtle Man, right? Right. There we go. Thank you. Great job, Paxton. This is part of a meteorite. Part of it's the Sakota Aline meteorite. And yep. it fell out of the sky, and you got your hands on some of it. Yep. And uh, I mean, what kind of demand is there for this? Uh, people like it uh, because it's got a very, uh, even though it's from outer space, it's got a very earthy feel. Meteorites right here with a turtle man. Meteorites out of up there to down here, and you put it around people's necks. Absolutely. Wow. This is a, a new vendor we have this year. They're doing bubbles. Bubbles. Everybody likes bubbles. Everybody likes bubbles. Wow. The bucket truck from Yeah, we got the bucket truck, department. the volunteer fire department. And this is how they do their fundraising uh -huh. for the volunteer fire department, and it's very, very successful, and the people love it. And right. of course, everybody so, is belted in, so it's very, very safe. So when you come here, you want to make sure, when you come to the Woolly Worm Festival, you want to make sure that you support the Banner Elk Fire Department. This is their biggest fundraiser of the year, so you need to make sure you do that, okay? Exactly. All right. You guys in there? That was fun. You know, next year will be coming soon. Woolly Worm Festival will be coming up, and these folks need your woolly worms. They'll pay you a dollar a piece, so uh, bring them up to Banner Elk. See this lady, Mary Jo. Uh, she'll have cash in her trunk. Cash, yes. Cash, you can pay out cash, check, money orders, however you need it. And she'll take as many as you can bring her up to 2,000. Uh, you might want to call 25 her. 25 a person. 20, 25 a person. 25, 25 a person. person. That's right. 20. And spread the wealth. You know, we've had great fun here we've with Mary Jo day. at the Woolly Worm Festival. <laughs> come get your Woolly Worm fix on. But more than that, come enjoy a beautiful part of the Carolinas. Mary Jo, thank you so much. Thank you so oh, much, Carl. So Wonderful great. time today with you. Thanks, Woolly thank Worm. It's been great spending time with you guys. It's fantastic. Whoops. Oops. Yep. Worm. Woolly Worm today and a moth tomorrow. Here we go.